My name's Bill Lois and uh, we're in a place of, in my view, tranquility. The water behind me is water that's travelled on a long, long journey from the catchment of the mighty Burdekin River. We're very satisfied with this water here. This is a pristine area, very much uh, untouched by man. Yeah, I'm uh, Bruno Kamer. I've been farming in this district uh, for 60 years. It became pretty obvious in about the mid-60s that we weren't going to have sufficient water to uh, keep expanding. So a group of uh, grower representatives came up with the idea of taking free flow water from the Burdigan River and using it to recharge our underground. Then came the advent of the Burdigan Dam. Uh, fortunately enough, since 1988 it first filled, it hasn't failed one year uh, to fill the spill point. Away from the fact that the board originally was set up for groundwater recharge, that is to replenish the groundwater contained in the aquifers that was pumped out by the farmers for irrigation. And uh, as a number of farmers said, that high tepidity water saves us quite a considerable amount of money in terms of fertiliser because the tepidity settles out and we're not buying fertiliser, we're getting good river silt. We've got plenty of water here in the Burdekin, but it's good for the... Growing with trickle is, is very efficient. So with our, our vine crops, we get good results. We can fertilise via, via the trickle, quite manageable because you, you've taken away all the physical labour of weeding. There's another area we're looking at at the moment is in uh, forestry plantations. This is one of the uh, tree crops we've diversified into, African mahogany trees. Certainly very well suited to the Burdekin region. Good for the environment, they, they certainly keep the salinity problems minimal. The way things are looking around the world with regards to uh, timber production and the fact that a lot of native forests have been stripped, plantation forestry seems to be the way to go. Even if our population does grow to a point where we branch out into other types of activities other than irrigated agriculture, we believe we'll be prepared for that in the future. Where will it, where will it leave the board in the future will be interesting, but I think the board has got has got the runs on the board to, to show that it, that it can do things properly, and if it needs to change, it will change. But I also believe that with anything that you do today, I think you prove change, you never force change.